I feel like I've been starting my vlogs either in the car or outside. I've been really just enjoying vlogging and connecting with you guys. So I'm trying to vlog as much as possible. And I have a tiny bit of free time today. And so I figured I would take you guys with me to H&M to see what's new. I like doing videos like this, you know, where I just go into the store and kind of see what's new, show you around, maybe try a couple of outfits. And if not, at the very least, just kind of show you what kind of things they have. And also because I was thinking of doing another haul, like a try on haul. I know I said that the last haul was going to be my last summer haul. I was thinking of trying to do one more, but more of like a transitional haul, like transition into fall, which I know I'm getting ahead of myself because we're still in summer, but I thought that would be fun because I have a couple of things that um, I wanted to style for you guys. Let me know if you like videos like this. I personally love them. I love making them for you and I also like watching them. So yeah, All right, so let's head out. everyone yesterday I was not feeling well after I went to H&M because I just had like a terrible terrible migraine but it was like the type of migraine that like even the Sun or the light would just like literally hurt like my eyes were hurting and I get these every single month before I'm gonna get my period every single month without a doubt I'm gonna get a headache and it's a one-day thing but it lasts the entire day I even took like a Tylenol when I got back home and I still went to sleep with a massive headache. So I just didn't feel well, but here I am today. I got a PR package yesterday, which I haven't tried, but it's from this Italian brand called Sol Toscano and it's a hydrating mask. Looks like this. 
and this basically moisturizes purifies and exfoliates you'd be curious to see how it is so thank you so much so i'm excited to try this but today i'm feeling a little bit better and i actually have to work on a try on haul after this but i wanted to show you what i got yesterday from h&m and i also have a zara um, package it's only one thing but um hopefully it'll be as nice as it looks online because you know i ordered online so we will see but i only got one thing from h&m i did see a couple of like fall items there already so that was exciting especially being in miami because like our fall is a little bit later than most people at least in terms of like the weather and how it feels i did manage to get a very pretty kind of cardigan very true to my style you know i have the red one from bash and i have like a white one from zara that i love so much but i didn't have this beautiful gray so as soon as i saw this i had to get it it's so beautiful it looks like a nice quality and you're not going to believe what i paid for it 39.99 i was surprised because sometimes their cardigans that are like this tend to be a little bit pricier but i don't know why this is priced that way because i think it's a really really nice jacket so I would love to style this for the fall and so i got that and then from zara let me grab the package by the way their shipping was like lightning speed i ordered this like a day ago <laughs> i already received this so. okay super super pretty i fell in love with the print on this dress because it really reminded me of like alame and their dresses are obviously a lot pricier beautiful brands by the way it's just this beautiful dress with this very, very like artsy type of print, which again, very much reminds me of the dresses from Alame. It took, look how pretty that is. And I love the colors. I love the orange with this beautiful mustard yellow and green. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. It's very, very light and airy. I think this would be a perfect transitional piece uh, for the fall because you can wear this right towards the end of the summer and then even wear it in the fall, you could put like a little cardigan over it and it would look super, super pretty. So yay, I'm excited. All right, so both things look good. By the way, I'm wearing the Moonstone collection from uh, Lana Rose that I spoke about last time. It's the one that they kindly gifted to me. Look how pretty it looks. Of course, I'm wearing the earrings. Super, super pretty. I'll link them in the description box in case you like them. By the way, I left this for last in case this is not your thing. You can just, you know, click off. I understand. I want to keep my channel positive and informative and just a happy place for you guys to click on. But I have a couple of things that I feel like I need to address. Um, to be honest, I struggled with this because, you know, being a professional and a former journalist, I really, really feel that there are so many more important things going on in the world, such as war, poverty, etc., etc., that this kind of nonsense, I feel, is very childish. However, at the same time, I do feel that I really have to kind of stand up for myself, defend myself, and speak a little bit of my mind. So there's been some rhetoric online against content creators, and I've been recently targeted as well, which is a surprise because I am a very small creator, but somehow they took note of me. I don't know if you remember back when you were in kindergarten and it was the first day of school and you had a barbie book bag and another girl had the barbie book bag as well and the girl would come up to you or someone else would come up to you and accuse you of copying third this person or vice versa this is basically what this reminds me of basically what it is is accusing content creators of copying one another in terms of style in terms of hair color <laughs> um handbag brand that they use shoes um furniture i mean so many things and now like i said it's my turn and inevitably fashions do circulate fashion styles um brands as creators we are also involved with similar apps like shoppable apps where we are aware of new brands and new styles uh etc etc so obviously those styles and fashions are going to coincide it just it's inevitable it's going to happen 
So it was brought to my attention by one of my subscribers that my name has been kind of dropped on another person's channel a lot of times. And like I said, I wasn't going to mention this, but I feel like I need to exercise my voice. So once I found out what was being said, I thought it was incredibly silly, incredibly childish, and to be honest, a lot of nonsense. Like for example, um, this person is copying you. She has the same color of hair as you. Um, she's using the same YouTube titles, which is very silly because the titles that are used on YouTube are pretty much very generic. They're templates for the most part. I mean, unless it's something very specific to you, like I, Heidi was, you know, born on this day. The chances of a title being the same are very, very common. For example, a vlog, video log, a try on haul, um, styling hauls, fall hauls. This is very common on YouTube. Creators are using the same titles because they have to describe what it is that they're doing, not because they're copying somebody else. And uh, what else was I accused of? Um, also, styles. Styles will coincide. One creator doesn't own a specific style over another. It, that's insane. Same thing with brands. Creators will wear the same brands, the same way people on the street wear them. It's the same thing. You wear what you like. Imagine going up to someone in the street. You're wearing that Chanel bag. You copied me. That would be ludicrous to do that. One person doesn't own that style over another or that outfit or anything. We are exposed to the same brands. We're gonna see the same dresses or skirts or pants or shoes circulating or handbags. And one person should not stop wearing it because someone else wore it first or vice versa. That is ridiculous. And so to accuse a person of copying another because you have the same dress or because you wear the same bag just doesn't make any sense. And here's the thing, when you start accusing creators of copying one another, I think that it really kind of forces creators to try their best to be different and in an effort to be different they're being inauthentic that's what people don't understand there's this silly rhetoric of like you need to be more authentic you need to wear something like this and you can't wear that because someone else wore it but they're not realizing that by pushing someone so much to be different they're actually pushing the creator to basically try so hard to be different pick things that they maybe don't really like just in an attempt to be different and that is more disingenuous than anything and i am not going to stop myself from wearing a dress that i like or a handbag because someone else is wearing it not about that i yes i am a small creator but i am very proud of my work not because i am better than anybody or because i think that i am better than anybody but because I am a hard worker. And so do not think that because I have less subscribers that my work uh, is not genuine or authentic or not as valuable as anyone else's. That being said, I am not going to name drop. I'm not going to say what, chat, what person this is that I'm being compared to because one, I support my fellow content creators, big or small. I'm not here to um, compare, attack, or name drop. I'm not trying to ride on anyone's coattails. And uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not participating in any name dropping. I'm not interested in that. I'm just interested in defending my position, myself. And again, I'm here to stay and I have a voice and I will exercise it. Whether I have a lot of subscribers or not, that's something that I will do. Also, I want to say that when you drop my name on that person's channel, I think it's very rude to that person as well. And it's not nice, you know, because the people that go on that channel to watch that person are there to watch her. They're not there to hear about another creator. And so I just think it's incredibly rude and not nice. I also received a comment from someone who was very vicious, um, accusing me of the dumbest things i even got accused of you know copying this person because of my hair which by the way i was born with darker hair and i never knew that a person has patented brunette hair i mean that's that's how silly these accusations are they are insane 
just because two people resemble each other and maybe they're both latin and they have a brunette hair and olive tone doesn't mean that they're copying one another so i really felt the need to address this like i said i did struggle with this a whole lot um because i consider myself educated you know and not a person that likes to waste time on nonsense like this but i'm also very new to social media in in a way and i guess this is the kind of stuff that goes around when you are doing what i'm doing and so it's new to me first time i've ever been accused of anything but i take great pride in what i do i really try my best to keep my channel positive and fun and nice i am a girl's girl i don't like when women knock other women it's really not my thing it's actually one of the things that i really really dislike very very much so especially when it comes from adults this whole thing of be different be unique i mean you're unique by existing <laughs> literally i mean this, this is one of the first things your parents teach you when you're small is don't compare yourself because you are unique no matter what your mere existence makes you unique that people will have similarities in styles and ways of thinking and in backgrounds maybe they resemble each other a little bit physically it's gonna happen it's it's bound to happen you know how many people exist in the world it just needs to stop because honestly if anyone claims to be completely unique and different and not draw inspiration from anything then they're not being truthful to themselves and everyone else for example you pick up a vogue magazine and you like something on there and you go and purchase it does that mean that you don't have your own personal style no you drew inspiration from something and you made it your own so everyone is unique just by existing that being said i really think there are worse things in life to be accused of than trying to copy someone because the color of your hair is the same or because you're wearing the same dress such as being malicious and thriving on putting others down and trashing people and things like that that would make me really sad so thankfully that's not the case for me so now that i got that out of the way i feel so much lighter by the way, I want to thank those of you that have defended me and supported me. I'm so appreciative of that because that's something that you don't have to do. And honestly, I feel bad about. I don't think it's the job of subscribers to be defending a creator. I, it, I just don't think that that's something that you're responsible for. But I'm so appreciative of you guys. But anyways, it was nice connecting with you guys. It was nice just talking to you and just opening up for watching this video and of course if you haven't done so already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i'll see everyone next time bye